Good morning my YouTube videos. It is Crystal here. What I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to make a, a training sheet for you that I do every week. But what I've done is I have anonymized the data to make it anonymous. So you don't know the name of the employee and you just have a very vague idea of the course. And this is a training sheet that I prepare every week. And I thought, well, it would be a good idea to make a video on this because my viewers can make a training sheet as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, uh, and I do this on my computer at work, I haven't done it on this computer at home because I have a different Excel on my computer at home. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to block off um, all of the cells that we want to color code. We're going to come over here to conditional formatting. We're going to say new rule. Say format only cells that contain going to be equal to and it's going to be attained and then we're going to format it and we're going to make it green so everything that says attained is green and then we're going to do another one another rule Format only cells that contain equal to, and we're going to say not attained. And we're going to color code that red. So everything that's not attained is going to be red. And then we're going to do another rule. Uh, format only cells that contain is equal to, and we're going to say not required. Not required. We're going to format that. We're going to make that gray. So everything that's not required is going to be gray. And then we're going to do the last conditional formatting for this group of cells. We're going to use a formula. And it's going to be a C2. We're going to say equals C2 less than or equal to today plus 90. We're going to format that, and that's going to be yellow. So now every training course that's going to be expire within 90 days is going to highlight yellow. So we've got one. Now what we're going to do is just to make life easy on the manager, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to say if, if they've got any not attained, that's going to show up with training overdue. So you're going to say equals if, say count if, and then we're going to say all the way to the end, count if C2, and it's going to say not not attained it's going to say it's going to say training overdue if it's got any not attained otherwise it's going to be blank and then we're going to take that and we're going to copy it down to the end. So you see you've got three training overdues. 
And but what I want to do is I want to color code it to make it, you know, visible to the manager. So we highlight that data. We do conditional formatting. We do new rule cells that only contain equal to training overdue. We're going to call that red to make it stand out. So now everything that has a training overdue is going to be red. And then another thing that we want to do is we want to We want to do the, um, ball that out. We want to, we want to, um, determine what percentage is training overdue. So we're going to say equals count if. B2, okay, let's make sure that's B2, yeah, B2 to B18 over count A, because it's conditional formatting, so it should work, because it works on my computer at work, B2 to B18. So it should be something about 17%. It says you've entered too few arguments. Count if B2 to B18. I messed that up, didn't I? Count if B2 to B18 training over to and count A, B2 to B18. So it's about 17%. And then we can format that. Format sales percentage. So you've got close to 18% people are overdue training. So that's something easy for the manager to look at. So rather than the manager just looking for all the reds, then what the manager will do is he will look on this B column and he will determine which one, if there is a red in there or if there is a not attained in there, then it's going to come up with training overdue and then it's going to come up in red. So it will be easy for him to see. And then we've also calculated the percentage. And then because I used count A, because count A, because this data is conditionally formatted, all of the cells have got something in them because they're conditionally formatted. So that's why I was able to use count A. So it's going to be the number of cells that say training overdue divided uh, by the number of cells. So that's the way it works. And so if you're responsible for training, that's a good little training sheet. And people have to meet their training obligations, and it's done by a date. This is an easy way that you can make your training highlight for the manager to see who's overdue training. And so as you can see that you've got three individuals here who are overdue training. And as I've said, I've anonymized the employees and I've made the training just really basic, really basic. So try to anonymize that to make it where it's not easy to identify it. So that's it for this video. If you like my video, please like, subscribe. Thank you for so much for watching my video. And I hope to be able to make more Excel videos for you in the future.